and uh, the great Marie de Kock. Right on the outside, Romania going well through Maria Sumugia, but you can't really tell until they've run the next bend. The Soviet squad, remember, broke the championship record. Karen Williams having a good run, holding her own there with West Germany and Poland. The Soviet squad of going well, and they broke East Germany's championship best. And uh, Great Britain had a bad change there to Jocelyn Hoyt, and they lost a lot of ground. Now, the Soviet Union have got a vast lead, and that's, that's amazing, because East Germany have got some work to do. They've never had much work to do in the past. Jocelyn Hoyt running well. Going across in front of the Czech girl, getting across in front of the West German girl. Look at that. She's having a tremendous run. One hopes she hasn't got off too fast and doesn't blow up. But this is unusual to find the Soviet Union, whose lead leg runner, Prorochenko, six of the Olympic Games at 200 metres, has got off so well. But look at this by Jocelyn Hoyt, chasing the East German girl, Barbara Krug. Now, Jocelyn must surely tire. The West German girl coming up to her shoulder. It was a brave bold move but the Poles have gone past as well and the Soviet Union have got a cracking lead now Christina Bremer goes after her and what a lot they've left for Christina Bremer and Marita Koch it should be fantastic to see what Marita Koch the gold medalist at 400 and world record holder can do against Kulchinova who was fourth in the 400 now Verona Elder chasing after the West German girl but the Polish girl Verona Elder running well and running Britain into a possible medal position. Past the West German she, girl she goes, Verona Elder, and up onto the shoulder of Kasperczyk. And the East German girls are closing the gap and it should be a thunderous last leg. Marita Koch will take the baton behind Kulchinova and she may prefer it that way. But she had the greatest margin of victory of any track event in these championships. And what a battle for the bronze because running last leg is Chavinska for Poland. There's bumping and barging. The West Germans cut her up. And, and Marita Koch has gone past in the lead position. Donna Hartley got a lot to do. That's Chavinska going for her. And then the second race is what we're watching. Holman of West Germany's got her battle. And Donna Hartley's got so much to do because chavinska has gone past the West German girl. And Chavinska looks good for the bronze and East Germany have gone into a clear lead Marita Koch has taken 20 metres out of the Soviet girl bold running but Marita Koch comes home clear and this is going to be a very fast time indeed not the world record but a championship best the Soviet Union in second and Donna Hartley's had a blinding last leg and gets within two metres of Poland Britain in the fourth place you've been running the last leg against Sylvia Holman of West Germany. And Sylvia Holman, a tremendous, remember she got the silver medal in the individual 400 meters and Donna Hartley beat her on the last leg, took over behind her and finished in front of her. So that's a remarkable last leg by both Marie de Kock and by Donna Hartley, who was clearly not at her best in the individual. Her back has been troubling, but look how much she's overtaken the West German girl and closes on Irene Shabin.